Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video, and today I'm bringing guys episode number 24 of Hot Roulette. That is right. Uh, right now we are on a one game win streak. We're trying to bring it up to a second and third one this episode. And as you guys can see, uh, we're not that far off from uh, at least staying in Division 1. We're two wins in the season as well as one overtime loss. Well, one shootout loss. So we're going to see if we can keep that win streak going and try to keep going in Division 1 and win that Division 1 title. So we can definitely do it in this season. Just a matter of playing some really solid games the next like five or six games. So we will go through the team before we start up a game. But on the first line, we got Ovechkin, Bergeron, and Patrick Kane, uh, the junior flashback card. We also got Taylor Hall, Connor McDavid, Gabriel Landeskog. We also have uh, Blake Wheeler, Logan Tour, and Rick Nash on the third line. And on the fourth, we got Tyler Johnson, Ryan Kessler, and James Neal. So that is our offense. Let's go right on to the defense there. Nicholas Cronwall, Eric Carlson, he's going to have to help lead us the way. Uh, there's also Dougie, Gil or Dougie Gilmore, Doug Dougie Hamilton, uh, Milestone Jason Garrison, as well as Jack Johnson, Mike Green, and Frederick Anderson is making his debut with that Minnesota change team. So anyways, we're going to get this first game started of the episode. Let's get it going. All right, guys, so we found ourselves an opponent. On his first line, he's got Giroud, Zetterberg, and Johnny Goudreau. We definitely cannot lose this game. We need every single win in Division 1, so let's get this game going. Let's see what we can do. All right, nice little dump. Come on, come on, and rifle it. Oh, off the post. Come on, Tyler Johnson, he still got it. Back around, down low to Neil. Uh, grab the puck, grab the puck. That's mine, that's mine. In front. Pass it out in front to Johnson. Okay, Johnson's got it. Oh, watch out for Bufflin. Watch out for Bufflin. Shoot it! Oh, no. My own guy got in the way. All right. Still six minutes left in the first period, but so far we're getting some chances. Oh, Hall's got the speed. He's just streaking right in. Shoot it! Just get it on net. There was no space and time for him. Hall, back to McDavid. Back across. Landis got Puck chop it. Oh, no. A nice little chance. Oh, we still got it, though. We still got it. In front. There it is. Come on, Hall. You gotta shoot the puck. Alright, so end of the first period. Let's take a look at the stats. 8-3 to three in shots. 4 minutes time on attack. 2 minutes. So, uh, this guy really likes to do the cross creasers. I'm trying my best to defend them. We're gonna see if we can keep it up. Play well in the second period. Beautiful. Yes. That is what I'm talking about. Nice little passing play between the three of them. And Patrick Kane just absolutely slams that one home and beating Corey Schneider. I kind of want to take another look at that because that was a pretty nice, beautiful passing play. Right back, back down low. Pretty much the set play right there, just doing the triangle. And we make it one to nothing. Pretty good start to the second period. Come on, Dougie. No. Oh, what a save. There's only eight minutes left, but that was a crucial save for us. Oh, yes. He throws out the puck and Tyler Johnson post in. That is a backbreaker on the penalty kill, too. That is what I'm talking about. Not going to watch the replay on that one. Not going to rub too much salt in that wound. But 2 to nothing. 6 minutes left. Let's keep it up. Oh, what a puck chop. To Gabriel Landeskog. We're going to spin him. And rip it. Oh, missing the net by a little bit. But come on. Grab the puck. Grab the puck. Come on. Okay. Play some defense then. Play some defense. Play some defense. Don't let him shoot the puck. Nice block. All right, keep going, keep going. Grab the puck. Who's that? That's Mike Green, Mike Green. The jerseys just throw me off so much. They look exactly the same on my TV. All right, nice poke by, I think that was uh, Bergeron maybe? No, that's Mike Green again. All right, skin up the puck to Kane. Go Kane. He's got the speed. You got the speed. You can beat Latang. There it is. Back pass. Cross. Shoot! Oh, no. The passing play almost worked. Just couldn't get it through. Kane's got the break. Beat Goudreau. Come on. Oh, I was trying to do the backhand for it. I could have done the double backhand, but I don't want to do that anymore too much at least. 
Okay, 33 seconds. Look, go long tour. Oh, fake 45 degree cut. Oh, another fake 45 degree cut. Grab the puck, grab the puck. Keep going, keep going. Oh, there's a snipe. Oh, no. And one more time. Oh, long tour. Uh, okay, Rick Nash. Blake Wheeler doesn't have the good hand on him right now. And Cronwall. Oh, what a tip. Across. Oh, what kind of pass was that? And, oh, just rifle it. Oh, man. All right, I think that's going to be the end of this game. Very tough opponent for sure. But Rick Nash, we're going to just tuck one in. Just really put the dagger in there. We just really jammed it in there. All right, three to nothing. One second left. That is pretty much the end of this game. So we continue our win streak to a two-game win streak. That is a nice win to win in Division One, especially three to nothing, which means we can also buy an 8750 pack for the team. Okay, so a pretty good game. Let's take a look at the stats: 2011 in shots, nine minutes and 17 seconds. Time on attack to five minutes and 26 seconds. For a little bit though, in the first couple of periods, I thought that maybe it would just end off with a one nothing lead, but uh, we do score two more goals in the third period to secure us that lead. Tyler Johnson with the first um, star getting one goal. Frederick Anderson, Frederick Anderson getting a shutout that game. His debut is strong, as well as Logan Couture getting that third star with one assist, even though I thought maybe Rick Nash should have deserved one for scoring that last goal. So anyways, let's go into the marketplace. Choose the 20th player. I'll meet you guys there. All right, here we go, guys. So the buy now minimum just set to 2,000. We're gonna back out there. Collection type has been put onto players. So let's go ahead and choose a 20th player here. Let's see what we get. And it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, uh, 20. We already have Eric Carlson, so the rule is if we get a duplicate, we have to go to the second page, pretend this page didn't exist, and we'll start 20th, or we'll pick the 20th player on the next page. So the 20th player on this page is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 Bobby Ryan all right not a bad pickup for sure we definitely have to use him on the team for at least one game so let's go ahead and buy him out see where he fits in all right guys so we did find a spot for him you can see that he's now playing on the third line left wing and it does fill in pretty nicely with Lone Couture and Rick Nash I did take out Blake Wheeler because he did have a lot of play time in this series and you know what I don't want to replace James Neal just yet because he is scoring us quite a few goals especially in those clutch moments so Bobby Ryan's there on the third line left wing spot as well as we did get a shuttle last game so I did put a change team on uh, Eric Carlson giving him a Detroit change team so very likely uh, if I get more change teams, get more shouts in this series, I might just keep changing my defenders to Detroit. I don't know what's going to happen, but uh, that is how it's looking like so far. So let's get right into the second game of the episode. Let's get it going. Alright guys, so second game of the episode. He's got the jerseys that you can't really see uh, the names on. So anyways, we're going to get this game going. We got our debut for our new player, Bobby Ryan. So, oh, just snipe it. Get on net. Oh, Parise. All right. Anyways, we're going to get this game going. Let's see what we can do. Oh, getting a lot of pressure on him. Just couldn't score a goal there. Getting my uh, concentration going. That's not a penalty. Get out of here with that. Gabriel Landeskog. Uh, spin him. And... Oh, no. I did the wrong move there. Backing up instead. But doesn't look like he has the best of teams. Like, he's got Nazem Kadri. Doesn't have really, like, good high-end, like, defenders as well. So... We're going to see if we can capitalize on that just a little bit. Uh-oh, uh-oh, come on. Oh, man, that was dangerous. Grab the puck, grab the puck. There you go, Green. Get it out, get it out. Poke it. Get it out, get it out. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Don't let him do the cross crease. Oh, Jesus. This is, like, pretty dangerous. This guy's definitely pretty good. Come on, Tyler Johnson. Off the boards to Kessler. Come on. One deke. There it is. And snipe. Oh, he's got Ben Bishop in that. All right, so we got to definitely shoot a little bit more on the five hole. No, oh, what a save by Roberto Luongo. I thought I was beat there. Oh, no, come on. He's really good at those interceptions in my zone. Got to be careful. Oh, but he's getting penalties at least. That's his second penalty of the game already. Off the boards, the Bergeron. Ah, oh, damn. All right, 24 seconds left in the first period. 
Can we capitalize on this opportunity? We will see. All right, let's do a stick lift on him. There you go. Catch him off guard and snipe. Oh, nice save by Bishop. Lannis Gog, Lannis Gog. Get around, get around. Shoot, shoot. Oh, a couple shooting chances there, but uh, nothing else from that. Oh, back in front. No, couldn't capitalize on those opportunities, but still, it's still 0 0. It's a very, very tough game right now. 8 of 6 in shots. Pretty much same time on attack, so we gotta play a stronger second period. Get a couple goals here. Come on, don't let him beat you, don't let him beat you, don't let him beat you. There it is, nice save, nice save. Pass to Garrison, alright, we gotta capitalize on this power play right now. Landis got go, back pass, he's going too fast right now. Alright, go along, go along, cross the boards all the way around to McDavid. There it is, nice pass, there it is in front, Landis Gog. Oh, he got a poke on there, I think. It cross, shoot! Oh, Garrison, try to get that one-timer off, and there it is, another penalty. Alright, five on three, can we capitalize? We gotta make sure... Let's try a stick lift this time. Stick lift. There it is. And shoot. Oh, no. Lannis Gog, Lannis Gog. Oh, circle around. Yes. There it is. Top left cheese. And Lannis Gog, he is such a good player. You guys were right. Whoever said that Gabriel Lannis Gog was a second line player, you guys are absolutely right. He's so quick. He's so big. Although his endurance isn't amazing, he always finishes on the good opportunities there. Like, Landis Gog, nice little bring around. Five on three. You can't make a mistake on that. And we still got a power play. So we got to play a little bit better. Let's keep it going. No! Right through uh, Luongo's glove hand. I really thought he shot it straight at him, but that was not some good defense there. And he got right through. One to one. We need that goal right back. Yes! There it is! The pass in! I don't know why that keeps working, but when the guy is like going to the net, he passes a little bit more in advance, and that one just uh, beats Bishop. And I think that was 5 hole as well. Alright, not gonna watch the replay. He didn't watch the replay on me, so uh, we'll keep going here. Second period, we got that goal right back. No! We get the tripping penalty, and then he scores the goal right after. Damn, alright, another goal went in. It is tied back up. That is not good. Yes! And we get the goal right back. Connor McDavid. That is what I'm talking about. What a nice little goal there. Just a little bit of a passing play game, the movement going, and then no one catches Gabriel Lannis Gog and Connor McDavid there. So three to two, get that goal right back. No, 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 no. Can't give that up right now. Oh man, it's just back and forth action with the goals. Three to three now, 12 minutes left. We need that goal again. Yes! And we get the goal right off the face off, basically. Nice little back pass and a snipe by Dougie. That is what I'm talking about. Oh man, I gotta play better defensively right now. Come on. Oh, nice save. There you go. Alright, this fourth line is not doing well for me right now. Put it out a couple times. Always a little bit shaky, so... Anyways, there's still four minutes left. Let's not lose the face off here. Come on, grab the puck, grab the puck. Alright, there you go. Come on, bring it up. Yes! 
Yes, Ovechkin with the one-timer. And there it is. That's the two-goal lead. Three minutes left. Can that be the winner? All right, nice little goal. Bergeron setting him up as well. And the Kane line. That first line is on fire. All right, 5-3 to three now. Let's see if we can get that win. And that is a win for us. That is the second game one in a row, which means we can also buy a pack. And as you guys know, there are some flash four cards out right now. So we can get lucky. You never know. But let's take a look at our season before we uh, go into the stats here. But that is a really good episode. Two wins in Division 1. We are staying in Division 1 at least. We cannot get relegated now. So we're only seven points away from winning that league title. So let's see if we can do it. Let's take a look at the stats though. 24 to 13 of shots. 11 minutes time on attack to 5 minutes and 50 seconds. So we definitely outplayed him by quite a bit. First start for him, Yuri Hoodler. Oh man, shouldn't have given up those two goals to him. As well as Bergeron getting the second star. And Connor McDavid also, also picking up the third star. So anyways, let's go ahead and choose the 24th player. Raise the buy now minimum to 3k. I'll meet you guys there. Alright guys, so we're back on the auction search page. So the buy now minimum just set to 3,000. Collection type put, put onto player. So let's see if we can get lucky here. And uh, let's choose the 24th player. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, Anze Kopitar. What a nice little pickup right there. Awesome centerman to have on uh, any Hut Roulette team. So let's go ahead and buy him out, see where he fits in. Okay, so now that Kopitar is bought, let's go ahead and buy an 8750 pack. Uh, but before that, I'll quickly show you guys the new special cards that are out right now for just some of the ones we can pull. Uh, but there is a Patrick Hornfist player of the game. There's also a couple milestone cards like Burns, Rene, Jokin, and Fiddler, the team of the week. And there is the Flash uh, forward cards. They said they're going to release them all the way until March 5th. So there is a little bit of time for me to pull those cards. So let's see if we can get something good here. Not going to expect anything too much, but... We never know. So let's open up that 8750 and see if there can be any good stuff that we can use in this pack. So, and we're gonna get. Uh, doesn't look like anything too special there. Barkowski, Grace, uh, Le Cavalier, uh, Roosevelt, Gazdick. Yep, definitely nothing in this pack. So let's go ahead, go back into our team. I'll show you where Anze Kopitar fits in. Alright guys, so we did put in Anze Kopitar into the team, and it was very hard to decide which centerman to take out, because our centermans are pretty much filled out already, but you gotta find a spot for Anze Kopitar. I mean, an 89 overall pickup, you definitely gotta use him. So, what I did was, I put him on the third line center spot, I took out Logan Tour, put him on the right side instead, moving Rick Nash down to the fourth, and I took out uh, Bobby Ryan. Honestly, he wasn't anything too special. I really think that James Neal, even though he is an 87 overall, uh, he scores a lot more goals for me, so... Anyways, uh, you guys can let me know what your opinion is on this team. Maybe let me know some lineups with this kind of roster right now because uh, it is really difficult to move around players and I don't know. You guys can let me know if there should be any changes to the team. So anyways, that's about it guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you guys can, leave it a like. I appreciate all the support on these videos. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Alright, player opinions. Redeem yourself. I mean, these are just horrible. Alright, next one. Oh, okay, okay. It's not a flash forward card. I, I got a little overexcited there, but our pack one is actually insane right now. Top 10 card. I will definitely take that.